guess it all started when I did a, a really basic, like uh, I guess it was like a City and Gills photography course. And obviously that's just stills, it was just a still course, and nothing to do with video, but obviously it gives you a you know, um, a basic grasp of composition and like, you know, basic understanding of photography and whatnot. And then, you know, I did photography for a little while, but I never really got into it, but I don't know the video stuff. I don't know, it just clicked really, you know, it brought everything about, you know, about what I love together. So like photography, riding, finding places to ride, you know, it, it's like, it, it's all, it's just all one. Everything about it, I love the whole, the process, you know, even sitting down and editing in an evening. So like, from a, from a filming day for me, it's great. So you get up, get up on coffee and go out, find really cool or interesting places to ride, ride them, capture them, come back, edit it and have a beer. It's like, well, you know, it's got everything going on, hasn't it? And then you've got something to show of it. So, for the end of it. Let's give a little guy. Oh my god! <laughs> That's just from pushing down. I thought it was going to go high then. <laughs> Quite excited. <laughs> oh my word, it's got a word with murder, ain't it? That's really soft. I get excited to watch one of his videos, you know, because they're always inspirational. He always goes off on his own tangent. He ain't like Danny Mac, he ain't like the Martins, you know, he does his own thing. And that's what I really like about him. You know, you're gonna see something different, like whether it be doing trials on a downhill bike or something stupid like riding with no brakes, you know, but he really pushes on. He's one of the biggest, best trials riders on the planet, but somehow, he keeps it cool, that's the thing with Chris. He's, he's just flying under the radar in that respect, keeping it real and, and just doing what he wants. There's something quite aesthetically pleasing about these sort of places, like I don't know, I've always been drawn to them. Harmony and discord, isn't it really? It's, uh... <laughs> Slim pickings, I think it's going to be one of them places, there's a lot of nothing, but you know, it's good. If you haven't been here, you don't know what's here, so come and have a look. You can't, you know, you can't see anything. It's just a nice afternoon out. I just en I just enjoy picking up different bikes and, you know, just putting my spin on them. I mean, that's just, it's just that learning curve, that first, like, you know, seeing what you can and can't do on certain bikes and then going, oh, actually, yeah, I can do this as well. And it's like, you know, it's that really initial quick burst of like, um, just that learning curve, really. That's what I, that's probably one of my most, you know, what keeps me going. But I've just got a short attention span, so I think that's why I like it, because I can just, you know, I'll pick up a bike and it feels like I'm learning something. I'm just like, oh, excited about, you know, different colors and whatever, and just exciting picking up a new bike going out and finding stuff to ride on that bike for that amount of time. And then by the time I've done it, I'm pretty over it. So it's like, it's time to move on. I'm just really privileged that, you know, working for Mongoose and riding for Mongoose is that they've got a good, a good um, range of bikes and they're just happy for me to, you know, go and do, you know, essentially what I like to do. Got the old me. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> so I don't think you get much more stretch than that, I'd say. <laughs> I almost like sometimes that you can't, that I can't move and stuff because, you know, it's more, it's more like you're taking a still, like you're taking an image. You like set it all up and everything, get composition quite nice and, and then you just hit it. And it's almost like taking a still with a bit of riding in there. We're going hot. I like the angle on his videos really, everything's a little bit different, you know, it's not like a massive promotion thing or anything like that. Sometimes starts in his kitchen with a cup of tea and then it's it's just like everyday stuff really, what everybody does and then he goes out and rides his push bikes just like a lot of other people do, just he's a damn lot better than everybody else, that's the only problem really, that's why we can't all do it. You know, he's not just on one bike, he's, he's mixing up, it's on different stuff, it's, it's always something new, it's always something fresh and you know, it's one of the few videos you like when you heard he's brought a new one out, you're stoked to watch, you know? You know, you can 
watch a video of him and think, yeah, that's absolutely sick. But then when me and Sambo were in Spain a few winters ago, we actually went and set up um, that big roof thing he did. Like he rode up onto a roof and then he pedaled along it and jumped this stupid gap off it. And like, honestly, I don't think I would ever ever think about trying it. It was absolutely mental. Sometimes uh, his riding makes me feel um, scared because it might be really dangerous. Other times he makes things look easy that are incredibly difficult and I don't necessarily realize how difficult it is. He's that true like dirt jump like feel but could do these tricks that like you've never seen before really so he's like incorporating a bit of style and a bit of actual like crazy trial skill, like not on a goofy bike. <laughs> I think he's so creative, you know. And just the creativity that comes out of it. Seemed calculated, really calculated, but just confident and totally um, aware of his abilities. And I was, I was absolutely blown away just seeing it in person. This riding, when it really came on my radar, was when I saw him doing the, the fixie uh, the fixie videos and he, and he started really going outside of just being on the mountain bike and it really showed how diverse uh, he is and how, how diverse his skill set is, especially being on the fixie with the fixed gear. To me, that, uh, that blew me away. It's almost like put to me like a challenge, all right, okay, sort of like, you know, take this and see what you can do with this type of thing. And like the first video went really well and I, and I was like oblivious to the whole fixie scene or freestyle scene or whatever, however they were trying to like pigeonhole what people were doing on bikes. But, you know, I just, I just got it, I was like, alright, okay, this is this, this is that, and this is what I can do. And then just went out and did it and filmed it, and it went down really well. It wasn't like, it's really funny, but I wasn't influenced in any way by anybody else. I didn't even see anybody else doing it. So it was like, you know, that was completely my take on it. Yeah, all the amount of riding that I've put in the past, you know, my trials career and all that and all that, it, it's just like me, like, sowing, sowing the seeds of, like, whatever bike riding skills in there, you know, putting all that effort in, you know, getting everything sorted. And then now I'm just going back into it all and just like, just harvesting everything. <laughs> just like, right, okay, I know how to do this, let's harvest that, let's capture it in this camera and make a video of it. And it's just like, that's how I feel like when I go, when I go filming, it's like you, you're harvesting stuff. It's like, you just collect this, you collect that, collect that, come back and then just make, make a bloody mint soup. <laughs> This is the uh, part of my cross training. It's just good, you know, you get used to this speed and like, you know, the, it's good for your arms as well because it pulls so much, you know, it's got, um, it's got 90, 90 things. It's a beast. Uh, 14 years and my relationship with him is strictly professional and all them rumours aren't true. I was a complete and utter gentleman all the time. It's always first to get around him. Uh, that's about it really. It's good at getting round him. <laughs>